It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Dogs Window Brewery based in Bridgend, South Wales. They are absolutely nailing it at the moment. Um, great ratings on Untapped. Lots of people buying their beer. Uh, my friend Scott has just reviewed a can of their beer down in Portsmouth, I see recently. Um, so they're getting about. They're getting about. People are buying their beer. Um, which is a good thing, which is a good, a good thing, because I know Lee, um, and he works really hard. In fact, about 10 minutes ago, I just, I, I fat fingered um, on WhatsApp and I pressed call and I accidentally was, was calling Lee at half past eight on a Monday morning. I'm pretty sure he didn't appreciate that too much. He was like, I'm brewing beer. <laughs> but um, uh, yeah. Dog's Window, um, I've been drinking their beer now for a number of years. This is their Black IPA. Me and my shadow, Black IPA. 4.3% uh, ABV, 440 milliliter can. Um, there's a picture of what looks like New York or Chicago. Something along those lines. And you got his, what has he got? He got a sandwich. And he's wondering whether to eat the sandwich or maybe shared it with his dog. So without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. If you want to order, if you want to order some of this beer, uh, I'm presuming Dog's Window have got a website anyway, but um, you can get 5% off this beer currently by using the promotional code, all lowercase, Stone the Crows. We'll get to that bit in a moment. Let's concentrate on the beer first and foremost. We've got a two finger tan colored head, a jet black beer in the glass. Uh, nice, nice looking beer, really well, well, kind of good, good looking beer. And it, it's amazing, because if you've seen my video last year, I went to uh, Bridge End, uh, I went to the brewery, I, I had, a, had a day with Lee where we went to his new beer shop, uh, which is this. Uh, the nearest beer shop website is www.nearestbeershop.com check that out there you can get 5% off when you use the voucher code stone the crows that's all lowercase and it's free delivery over 60 pounds so um there we go they're at, they're at 48 caroline street bridgend Craft beers, craft ciders, spirits, me, beer subscription club, and gluten free alcohol. 250, over 250 beers in stock as well. Um, so check that out. Yeah, but I was at the shop last year and getting back to it very quickly. We went to his brewery. We, we went to Dog's Window Brewery and it's, it's kind of like attached. It's a, it's a garage just next to the house. It's quite a large garage, but still, it's wonderful because he's producing really really good beer like this in a garage which is pretty amazing i think <coughs> so jet black beer in the glass great head retention on this black ipa um black ipa I'm pretty sure most of you know what black ipa is if you don't we'll get to it in a moment but let's get the aroma That smells superb, absolutely superb. Really lovely hoppy aroma coming through, kind of orange peel and certain tartness coming through. And then a little bit of roasted malt, not overly done, not massive roasted malt, there's a little bit of roasted malt in there. Bit of tobacco, pipe tobacco smoke and a bit of chocolate. Smells great. Let's dive in. 4.3% ABV. Cheers, everybody.
big, rich, creamy mouthfeel on the beer. Fantastic bitterness on the back end. It really is bitter. It's a combination of the hops. It's a combination of the malt. Enough roasted malt in there to give you that kind of sharp, kind of like tobacco smoke bitterness. I was in, I just come back from Ludlow actually, and I went to a, um, I went to a, a bar. It was a, uh, what do they call it? Like a saloon, like an old fashioned parlour, an old fashioned parlour bar in Ludlow. And I had a black IPA in there. And it's very, very similar. This is tasting very, very similar. Who was it from? Arbor. It was an Arbor Black IPA. This is this is almost identical. Roasty and toasty. Loads of bitterness coming through. Mouthfeel is creamy and rich. Carbonation pushes that beer around the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. No, it's really good, really good. So what is Black IPA? Well, as far as I know, my my history in Black IPA tells me that Stone Brewing Company kind of invented this style of beer. It was a case of trying to produce a golden, a golden coloured IPA that looked black. And that beer was called Sublimely Self-Righteous. And it was, it, 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 you close your eyes, you drink the beer, you were thinking you were drinking something kind of like, like a golden hoppy IPA of, of, of the time. It was magical. For me, I think the beer style has evolved. Black IPA isn't black IPA of, say, 10 years ago. Black IPA now for me is more or less. See now I would I would sit easier if these beers were now called hoppy stouts. I genuinely think this is a like a new world hopped stout. It's a hoppy stout. There's lots of roasted malt coming through. There's lots of stout. There's lots of stout characteristics about this beer. The look, the lacing, it's jet black, it tastes like stout. But it's got that wonderful kind of like nectarine, orange peel, grapefruit bitterness there as well, which which kind of yeah, which for me makes it hoppy, hoppy stout rather than kind of Black IPA. Black IPA, they've seemed to be making some kind of comeback though, haven't they? It's definitely made a comeback of sorts over the last few years. Oh, I, st I still have some more beer here. Beer here. That's a Danish brewery, isn't it? Beer here. Right. Um, Brood and Can, Dog's Window, uh, Nancy uh, Ada Bridgend. Uh, so, Pale Crystal Chocolate and Black Malt, Citra Pacifica and Nelson Sovin with some Kvik Yeast. A beer name that doesn't need much explaining. Food plus dog equals faithful follower. There we go. Check them out. They're having, they're having a moment at Dog's Window Brewery. Um, lots of people are interested. Um, they're brewing some fantastic beer and they're going from strength to strength. Check them out. Dog's Window Brewery. Um, thanks for watching. Let me rate the beer then. I like it enough to give it, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. I feel that I would like the beer maybe to, it's got a lot of bitterness on the back end. I think if they, if they just, just, cut the bitterness back a little bit on the back end i think it would be a, a slightly better beer but still an eight out of ten please put your comments in the comments box subscribe to our daily beard and food reviews give us a big fat thumbs up boom cheers